Pete's Pigskin Preview spotlighting 80 area high schools from 6-man to 6-A as we get ready for the high school football season. Pete's Pigskin Previews are brought to you by Wayland Baptist University and Raider Pump and Supply. Which first remind us how Luke finished up last year. Uh, last year we finished 7-3. Uh, and three. Uh, We uh, made it to the first round of playoffs. Uh, lost to Balmeray. Uh, but we had a really good season. I was proud of our guys. Uh, you know, everything kind of came together like it had the year before. I was kind of worried about a little bit of a sophomore slump. But uh, we, we transitioned well from the group of seniors we had before that to this, uh, that group of seniors that we have. And now I'm hoping this year we'll be able to transition as well. How many starters are back offense, defense? Um, we should have about three or four starters back on offense, three or four starters back on defense. Uh, we had uh, two solid starters uh, on offense that we're losing and then three on defense. And then just talk about the excitement of this new indoor facility. Well, this is this is the the, the dream that I've, I've I've had since I started coaching uh, 15, 16 years ago. Um, I've always been a, a big weight room guy. Uh, I, a lot of the emphasis of my program uh, centers around the weight room. Um, so when I first got here, this was a, a just an elementary play gym that really wasn't used very often. And in the far back, we just had you know a bench. Uh, some dumbbells on the floor and a squat rack and I started adding equipment that I would purchase or the school purchased and we just added a little bit here and there and uh, my superintendent came to me uh, last year at the beginning of the year and asked me how much it would take to to kind of redo this whole thing and what he thought and we put some numbers together and came up with a plan and um, you know it, it it came into fruition as something that um, I wanted to rival you know, uh, any school in Texas. And, you know, I'd, I'd happen to say that at least in 1A, this is probably one of the best facilities that we have uh, or that, that in, the state of, in the state of Texas. Uh, Coach, if you look out this year on the field, how do you see the Luke Longhorns looking? Um, I, I feel like we're going to be, you know, pretty consistent like we normally are. Um, we're going to be a ground and pound team like we always uh, have been since I've been here. Uh, the, the biggest uh, transition is that we're just losing a, a couple senior leaderships. Um, and a couple of key positions, but but the big thing is, is with consistency of me being here, um, I've got a, a person to fill a spot every time. So you know, a lot of coaches use that next man up mentality, but really that's what we have here. That's what I've been building since junior high. I've got a group of juniors now that have been sitting for two years, waiting for their opportunity, and their opportunities here. We. Uh, had a couple JV games with them, and they were able to show that uh, they can compete at the varsity level, and I'm excited to have them out on the field. Talk about your non-district schedule. Uh, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll open the year with uh, Christ the King like we normally do. Um, they, they are, uh, they're a tough team every year. Uh, the beginning of the year, they always give us a lot of fits, um, and uh, I think they've uh, added a Coach Savage over there to help, and uh, I think they're going to be pretty, pretty decent after – that, uh, we were supposed to play Laz Buddy. Not sure if they're going to field a team, so I'm going to be looking for a week two game. Uh, we'll play our rival, Wellman. Uh, Coach York is over there. Um, I think he's going to probably do some good things over there. Um, and then we will pick up Roby for week four. Not really sure what they have, but um, it's just going to be a good game for us. And, and then uh, we'll play Cotton Center. We always play them every year. We'll play them for homecoming. And then I think we finish our uh, pre-district season with uh, Lorenzo. My buddy Sepp over there, he does a great job with those kids. They'd run backwards through a cornfield for him. So he's awesome. Uh, but then we'll move on into district. And give me your thoughts on how district looks. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be a, a, a battle for probably, you know, second place. We, we, we would really like to be in the battle for first. And, and there's a good possibility that we could do that. But um, our main goal is just to get in the playoffs. Klondike is, is always good. I mean, when you got a... Uh, you know, you got close to 20 some odd kids and it, it's hard for us, you know, smaller schools to compete, but he does a good job over there and they, they, they have a good winning tradition and, and hats off to him, but uh, we're going to try and compete with that. Uh, my buddy Jay, he's over at Dawson. I'm really excited for him. I want him to turn that program around. There are neighbors right down the road and, 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 I, and I hate the fact that they can barely ever finish a season. And I think getting him as a good coach in there is going to do awesome things for that community and try and rebuild it. Uh, Coach Grantham at Southland, he's really great with those kids over there. Uh, they're always kind of, that's that last game of the year to probably determine who goes into playoffs. And I know that's going to be a big fight for us and them. 
And uh, Wilson, uh, Coach Trevino's over there. I'm really excited for him. Um, he's a good young guy that's, that's willing to do a lot of things for that program, and, and it looks like he's trying to turn that around as well. And uh, talk about the goals this year for the Longhorns. Uh, our goal is just to get in the playoffs again, uh, get a gold ball again, uh, try and keep some consistency. Um, you know, we've, my sixth year here, we've been to the playoffs twice, and uh, you know, it's every other year. So this is, this is the year that, I, I, you know, I, I'm not to, not to be superstitious, but this is the year that, it, it, you know, it, in the past, we haven't made playoffs and then we'll make it again the next year. My plan, my goal for our guys is to make sure we get that gold ball, we're in, and then, you know, have that consistency of, of playoff runs. And that's what I want for this, the school and community. And then just talk about this community. I, like I said, this is my sixth year here. Um, I couldn't be happier. I've got a fantastic administration. Um, Coach Trent retired, and now I'm taking over as athletic director. Um, it's you know something that uh, they they've been they've been grooming me for for a few years now, and um, I want to kind of uh, bring a little bit of life into our athletic program, our boys' side, our girls' side. We've got great coaches all around, um, and I just love being here. I love the the people, the community, the kids. It's it's a very wonderful place to be. It's kind of like a little hidden gem, and um, you know we we rely on a lot of transfers from Seagraves and and Seminole, but um, we've got a great little group of kids that are from town here and and I would love to just just keep building on that year after year.